Chubs ice cream king by this way you queen Taste of the Caribbean We got red, not mango, vanilla, stout and not no Summertime I come, so it's time for you to get some Chubs the world they say Chubs the world they say Do not let the girls pass you by G.I. approached me perhaps at the beginning of his quest and um, we spoke about the benefits of ice cream. I mean, you know, I think uh, we want to make it common knowledge that we um, celebrate our 21st year come June the 1st. Um, that's 21 years coming out of um, Lucian Borough, South East London, uh, New Cross more specifically. Um, and we've just had, uh, well, opened a year ago. We're about to celebrate a year of, uh, of our opening in uh, the shop in Brighton now out on the coast, um, where we've had GI this weekend, that's Chirps Ice Cream. Um, as you can see from my attire, I've been grafting, I've been grafting absolutely with um, just coming in from Brighton, um, dropping off stocks and supplies at the shops, working all this weekend in the Hove Centre, um, the Rocksteady Tea Party, um, where they screen the um, story of Lovers Rock once again. So that's really uh, reaching the outer extremes of England now, straight on the coast. So, uh, you know, with that, it's, uh, it's about networking. Um, as I said, we've been around 21 years now um, and I've been blessed with the fact that people with ideas, our people, my people, people of colour, find me, um, my, perhaps my, my reputation proceeds, uh, but my aim in life is to broaden the scope of um, not only Caribbean fair, but us as a people. And, you know, I'm not for one moment putting myself on any form of pedestal because I give God all the glory for what we've achieved. But if he's able to use me in a fashion to make a statement to our community, um, if, and I've said this before, that I can help one person achieve an objective um, by considering what I've done in the past, then life has been uh, well spent. In our 21 years, we've been pushing for Caribbean flavours. Um, I know that they've always been likely to sell. Um, people have requested them of me. Um, but more particular, what I see with Chirps is that, as he pointed out earlier, he's using what we, flavours that we have taken for granted. So there's a nostalgic trip. There's a nostalgic trip for those who are the first generation here in England, who were brought up with a little of the culture. Um, there are those certainly who haven't been brought up with so much of the culture, but this is a way they can connect because inevitably they would have heard of um, the beetroot juice, which I know GI can replicate, carrot juice, which I know he's done, the pina colada I know he's done, grape nut, which is a fantastic flavour and it, 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 you know extensively eaten in Jamaica. It's the one they tend to go for actually. Um, uh, you know the soursop, the fruit, the you know the sour, soursop, the fruit, mango, um, sugar cane, as I know he's mentioned. Um, there's just so many, and then you've got the the, the crossovers, you know, the the the, the, the children flavours of the European taste, I guess, which is bubble gum, and and so he's able to do that. And you know, with his skills, he can adapt almost any flavour to an ice cream form. So we've got the cake coming, we know. So there you go, you've heard it first. So the cakes come in, um, other flavours will be added too, and perhaps as he's given his um, his BB, um, his Facebook, give him a, a suggestion. Because I know he has the, the the capacity and the ability to replicate any flavour we need, and I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just really pleased to be a part of it. And I know that the market's there, waiting for Caribbean products, more particularly Jamaican products. You know, this is the um, the year you know where nine point something becomes you know nine now, and nineteen point something becomes nineteen. You know, we and, and that's our Usain Bolt. We're really pushing and rooting for Usain. We're rooting for the Jamaican relay team because once again, it is Jamaica but I know as I've seen in, 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 in previous years you know the Caribbeans the Africans they all get together and support whether it's an African nation whether it's a Caribbean nation whether it's Jamaica specifically it could be Trinidad it could be Grenada whichever you know at the end of the day there's an undercore there's a, there, you know there's there's a, a swirl there's a there's, there's, there's a vibe you know and um, I know everybody's gonna get behind the Jamaican team and I, I know I know I know I know I know it's going to be nine point something and 19 point something and we're going to walk away with the, 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 the two that matter, the 100 and the 200 metres. I mean, in terms of reaching a wide audience, anyone in business has to look for their USP. And I think I've been on camera saying this before, the unique selling point. Now, in the Chirps, he's got several unique selling points. He's unique in the sense that he has what we consider Caribbean flavours. He's unique in the sense, for, certainly from a Caribbean perspective, that there is one 
um, ice cream available which is non-dairy and there's a range available which are non-dairy. You know, as, as has been said, we suffer with an extremely high incidence of diabetes. Um, so again, it's about being able, it, it, you know, we can get romantic about it, but from a business perspective, they're all unique selling points and it's about looking at the biggest audience. And if you have an audience, a market, that is not being catered to, then you go and you do something to satisfy that need. It's as simple as that. So it, it, it is important and it's all lovely and it's romantic, yes, but the positive is you've just opened the floodgate to a different situation entirely. And I say a floodgate because they will all come running. In, in terms of getting it out there to the retailers, to the consumer, a couple of months back, the, uh, there was the largest vegetarian festival in Europe, I understand it to be, um, which was VeggieFest, two days in Brighton. So anything which is more natural, inverted commas, the audience in Brighton, with typically, I'd say, a higher disposable income, um, but certainly putting quality organic produce, which is, is organic, I'd say that also, um, to the forefront, and they're willing to pay. And again, uh, you know, you have a premium product, people pay a premium price for it. So uh, I would encourage him and say, well, look, you know, it's not about cr creating something that is cheap. No, it's to have people see the benefits which are affordable relative to what it's given you. So you're getting a dessert, so you're getting an instant fix, you know, instant gratification, smiles to your face, your taste buds are being enlightened or, or, or heightened, should I say, with, with, with the taste. But then, in, in the, you know, knowing also that you're not just piling on dead carbs. So it is ice cream, like well put on the pounds, but there is, a, a, there is an added benefit. The, the community aspect of it, that's absolutely lovely because, I mean, CHIRPS, as has been explained, is an acronym. Um, you know, community with, with striving and lifting up and reaching full potential. That says it all. But it's lovely in that it's a brilliant play on words because it's a Jamaican expression, you know, being a little bit of a sweet talker with the ladies yeah. and, and, and uh, you know, chirping like the little birds do, coming out with sweet words. So it's a lovely expression, but it's good to have that, as you say, that, 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 that the underlying bed of, of, of community spirit, you know, good high standing moral values, and uh, hopefully that will, or not, not hopefully, we know it will transpire into absolutely fair products. Heightening the, the awareness of Caribbean food, I think we have to just follow the big boys. You know, don't reinvent the wheel. They've done the work. They, they you know, they, they've, they've done the work in terms of, it's gone full circle. We knew that the, the place and the time, uh, the products are ready for the market. They have seen what we've done with it. And now they are jumping on the bandwagon it's good business. But you know, that, that should just solidify our position in, to, to know that we have something of value. Um, health value, um, commercial value, um, you know, sufficient to uh, raise our families, if you want to look at the, you know, the absolute bones, you know, raise our families, give them a good education. Um, again, the positive role modeling, um, you know, one's children, and the children of the wider community. So there's just many, many factors. And you know, if you want to look at, to the nth degree, anything involved in manufacturing must help your community. Absolutely must. I mean, you know, this is the, the you know, manufacturing revol re revolutions, what's happened in England, um, you know, the, the, the BRIC communities, you know, Brazil, um, Latin America, Asia, the rest. You know, they have, yes, they have a, a huge, a labour resource, but you have to have people making things, you have to have manufacturing so that you can provide jobs because at the end of the day, the world is about jobs. It's not about stock market, I oh, was well, sorry, the world is about not jobs, it's about people. It's about people. So it's not about the stock market and the rest, even though people benefit if those that do well and the feedback and any argument can be put for that. But if we're going to keep like, you know, sort of good ethics and morals and you know, a good solid moral fibre, then we've got to realise that the world is about people and it's how people interact with people, hence communities. And once nobody is hungry, the war stops, essentially. Forgetting the politics about others wanting to take from some and the rest and the rest and being politically downtrodden and kept in particular positions, um, that can be exploited. But fundamentally, if, if no one's hungry, everybody's happy. Call the Traps Hotline on 07539-767-968. Traps. Traps ice cream, just a nice up the scene. Any girl tastes this, she just a dream. 
Chops ice cream king by this way you queen Taste of the Caribbean We got red, not mango, vanilla, stout and not no Summertime I come, so it's time for you to get some Chops the world they say Chops the world they say Do not let the girls pass you by Chops them Chops them Do not let the girls pass you 